Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello, everybody. I hope all of you be great and inshallah be so much healthy. And inshallah, don't forget to pray for all of us. Again, you are watching us from the holy shrine of Imam Rada alayhi salam. And uh, if you uh, remember last, uh, last sessions, we started to say some things about the titles and nicknames of Imam Raza. As you know, as I mentioned for you, and remember, inshallah, completely, I told you that when we search about the different titles and nicknames of Imam Raza, we can find sometimes many titles and nicknames, but most of them, they are not so reliable or just given to the people, given to the Imam by the saying of the people sometimes in the period of history or some of them just become famous because of that. And maybe they don't have any reason. But we want to, inshallah, to mention some of the important one of the nickname and the title of Imam Raza, and we'll speak about this. Today, I want to mention to another important and famous nickname of Imam Raza, or sometimes they call it is the name of Imam Ali ibn Musa. The name of Imam is famous to Ali, and his father was Musa, Ali ibn Musa. But usually call the people him Rada, especially when you come to Iran, they call him Imam Rada. And the ti this title is so famous, especially among the Shia and also Iranian. But what's the meaning of that? At first, when we, when we hear this word, it is so exactly familiar, maybe you are so familiar with this nickname or name of Imam. For example, when you read the Holy Quran, you can find some exactly word near to this or this driven also from this uh, exactly root of this word, like Ra, Dad, and Ya. For example, Allah Almighty says, when I speak about the people who are so believer, and the people who did the, pa the past, the way of salvation, Allah speaks about them and says, Radiallahu anhum wa radhu an ulaika hum khayrul bariya. When Allah speaks about, talks about such of these people in the Holy Quran, Allah says, the people who pass completely the path of salvation, or they, they are the true believer, are the people that they are satisfied with Allah, and Allah is satisfied from them. Or we can say they are pleasure of Allah also, and the pleasure of the messenger of Allah, and also imams. So it's a, such an important status, and the highest status in view of Allah, the word of rida, the status of rida, or satisfaction, we can call it. Although we cannot completely translate this word, all the Arabic word completely to exactly to English or other languages, but we try to uh, explain it completely. So it, is, it, it shows that the, the status of the rada and satisfaction and the pleasure of Allah is a so high status in view of Allah. Uh, but the question is that why Imam Ali ibn Musa called rada and who has given this name to the Imam? At first, as I uh, understood and exactly searched about this, the first person that gave this name to the Imam was his father. His historian narrates, in the time of the presence and when he was born, when Imam Ali ibn Musa was born, his father called him Rada. And also we have many other tradition about this. One of the most important one is narrated from Imam Jawad, the son of Imam Rada alayhi salam. He says that, my father called Rada because all of the people who were the believer and the follower and the companion of him, they were satisfied and also the people, they were also the enemies of him at the end become satisfied. What does it mean? Can, can the follower of the person and the enemies of a person be satisfied? If you want to explain that, we can refer to the stories about the life of Imam Raza. When we read the life of Imam Raza, we can understand it completely. The followers of Imam completely were satisfied by the manner of Imam Raza and the good manner that was so attractive for all the believers. But the enemies, the enemies at first maybe they insulted many things to the Imam. But at the end, all the enemies were satisfied and Imam was able to guide all the enemies in different position that he, in the period of his time. You know, Imam in his time had many meetings and also relation with different people with, from different part of the world, with different religion, with different idea. But most of the people, they were um, around the Imam Raza. And we can see all of them would encounter Imam Raza and had speak with Imam Raza. They satisfied at the end with Imam Raza alayhi salam. Inshallah, all of us do some things, do try to do our best, inshallah, to get this 
position in view of Allah and makes Allah from ourselves satisfied, inshallah. Thank you for your attention.